Welcome everybody. Okay, we're ready to make some of those jack-o'-lanterns like we saw in the book. All right, so some of you got these packets from school that have all the materials you need. But if you don't have these materials, you can always get some. Let me show you all the stuff you will need for this craft first. You're going to need some glue. That's so you can glue the pieces together. You're going to need some scissors and it'd be nice if you can practice cutting on the lines and your parents can help you and watch you, okay? And then maybe they can help with the shapes. And then what you would need is an orange sheet of paper and the paper we sent you had the outline of a pumpkin on it, okay? But you could always draw your own if you didn't have this sheet of paper. I started cutting it a little bit so that way when we do the video, it goes a little faster. Okay, so you're gonna need an orange sheet of paper. You're also going to need a black sheet of paper and this sheet of paper is what we're going to use for making the mouth and the eyes and the nose and making shapes okay there's also this little green piece in here and that is what we're going to use as our stem for our pumpkin okay and then i already cut out a few shapes so we can review the shapes and then you can make your own so first what you're going to do is take your orange sheet of paper and cut on the lines to make your pumpkin shape. Remember, I already started cutting it a little bit, so you wouldn't have to wait as long for me to show you what to do. All right, there we go, shaped like a pumpkin. And to make it look more like a pumpkin, we're gonna put this little stem right here, okay? If you want, you can make the stem thinner, or you could make it, you could just kind of trim the edges so it's thinner like this. You could kind of make the top a little squiggly if you want. You can make it look however you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this top part. I'm going to put some glue right on the edge and put the green behind it so it shows on the other side. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. There we are. There's our pumpkin with the green stem. All right, orange pumpkin, green stem. Now I'm getting that black sheet of paper and this is for making the eyes and the nose and the mouth. And then if you look, I already have some shapes here that I cut out. I cut out a circle, an oval, some triangles. Ooh, that reminds me of a song we've been singing. Do you remember it? Circle, oval, triangle, triangle, triangle. Circle, oval, triangle. Look, now I have a rhombus, square, rectangle. All right, so all these different shapes you could use for your jack o' lantern. All right, I think I want some triangle eyes, and I already have two eyes right here. So I'm going to take my glue and put two spots for my two eyes. There's one triangle, two triangles for two triangle eyes. Okay, so now he can see you. All right, how is he gonna smell you? He needs a nose. I think I want a square nose. I remember one of the jack-o'-lanterns in the book had a square nose. So I'm gonna put that right here. You can always practice cutting the shapes to and then your parents can help you or your adult, whatever adult is helping you. So now I have eyes to see, a nose to smell. What else does the jack-o'-lantern need? A mouth. The jack-o'-lantern needs a mouth. So there's a few different ways you can do it. You could put together your shapes and make a really silly looking mouth like he's grumbling. Or you can cut out your own mouth and you could make it a smile or a frown. So if you kind of cut it in a half circle, like this, and like this, now I can make myself a happy jack-o'-lantern, or I could make myself a, oh no, a sad jack-o'-lantern. He could be happy or sad. If I wanted, I could even give him eyebrows to give him more of an expression. So I think I want mine to be happy, but I want him to have like a little tooth. So I'm going to cut out a little tooth right here into my mouth. See? And I'm going to 
gonna glue it on and we'll see how he looks. Okay, he's gonna be a smiling, happy jack-o'-lantern with one little tooth out showing. Oh, I like him, he looks cute. And then if I wanted, what I was telling you is that you could add some eyebrows. So you can just practice cutting. This is a great skill for your hands to practice cutting. It's also good for us to practice our shapes. If you tell us the shapes you used for the nose and the mouth and the eyes. All right, so I'm gonna give him two little eyebrows. Oh, <laughs> that kind of gives him an even happier face. So you could also maybe point these down if you want to try and make him look a little, a little angry or, or sinister. Mm. But I like having him just be happy. So you can play with it to make different expressions and make your jack-o'-lantern. So I'm really excited for everyone to make one and send us their pictures or even better if you could bring it to class so we could see it. All right, remember what you need. You need your paper, so you need orange paper black paper, green paper, a pair of scissors, some glue, and then you'll be all ready to go. And try and name the shapes for us, okay? All right, have fun.